Today I'm going to show you guys how to create this liquid transition in After Effects. Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from TheMotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this liquid transition effect into After Effects which is pretty simple, pretty easy without using any third party plugin. So let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so let's go ahead and create a new composition. I'm going to rename this to Main. 1920 into 1080 let's make this 30 frames five seconds look good and i'm gonna hit okay all right then i'm gonna go ahead and create a ellipse so i'm just gonna double click on it like so i'm gonna set the stroke to let's say around 40 and let's just rename this to circle underscore one then I'm going to go into the ellipse 1, ellipse path 1 properties and unlink this and change the size to let's say 250 by 250. So we have something like this. Maybe let's make it 220. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a trim path like so. Go to trim paths and then we can start animating the start and the end offset. So I'm going to set this to 100, create a keyframe on the start and the end properties, go to 1 second and bring them down to 0 and this to 0. Then I'm going to select the start keyframes and just displace them or move, move them forward a bit like somewhere around there. So now we have something like this, really simple. I can select the keyframes and hit F9 to ease them. Go to Graph Editor and create a really nice motion, something like this. So you can see, it looks really nice. Yep, that is looking pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and animate the stroke as well. So I'm gonna go to let's say 20 frames and create a keyframe by hitting on the stopwatch on the stroke width which is set to 40 right now and i'm going to go to very beginning of the composition and bring it down to zero so you can just copy the keyframe by hitting ctrl c on the keyboard go to somewhere on there and hit ctrl v to paste it up ctrl c ctrl v yep so now we have something like this. See, select them and easy ease them. Yep, that is looking pretty okay. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add a repeater. Just like this, just like this. So you can see we have something like that. Then I'm gonna go into repeater one, bring up the copies to let's say around 15 should be good. Then go to transform repeater one bring the position down to zero and then we can play around with the scale so we can just increase the scale like so you can see it's basically scaling them up and you can also rotate them up like so so now you can see we have something like this really simple to create and really easy you can use this cool stuff in your motion graphics you know to create some really complex looking animations so for now i'm gonna go to hmm, I'm gonna bring down the rotation to let's say 40 that is looking pretty nice and maybe bring down the scale to around let's say 135 all right then I'm gonna change the color to something that I like so maybe something like a uh, blue maybe something like that so you can see looks really nice now let's start now we need to create this animation kind of a liquidy effect we need to add that liquidy effect to it and um, which is actually pretty simple and really easy we can just go into effects and preset or you can hit control spacebar to bring up the fx console script and just type in 
turbulence displays and then just needs to and then we just need to decrease the size to 70 so now we have something like that you can see now you can go ahead and play around with the different settings if you want to but I'm just gonna leave it as default then let's go to circle one go to stroke and change the line cap from butt cap to rounded cap so it looks more like kind of a liquid effect you can see all right so now to give a little bit more depth to it what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit ctrl d to duplicate it make it a bit darker color something like that hit ctrl d to duplicate one more time and this is going to be our mat so i'm going to change this to mat or rename this to mat and change the track mat to and change the track mat of the circle two to alpha mat and then if i just displace my mat you can see we get this really nice depth to this thing you can see make it look really really nice you can also go ahead and play around with the turbulence evolution to give it a little bit more randomness maybe this one you can see make it look really nice and cool we displace this a bit more something like there and maybe just let let's just leave it right over there that looks really nice to me see and that's basically the base of our animation now all we need to do is just go on and duplicate this layer so i'm going to select all the three layers and hit ctrl d to duplicate it bring them up and this is going to be something like a red color so i'm going to make them red and give this one a red color maybe a darker pink kind of thing just copy the color code so hit ctrl c to copy it go to circle 4 paste it and make it a bit darker then i'm going to select all the three layers hit r to rotate it and maybe i'll just rotate it by 40 degrees so now we have something like that you can see looks really really cool you can also play around with the scale as well so if i just scale this down maybe somewhere around let's make it 85 see it looks pretty nice yep that is looking really nice now let's go ahead and create one more copy so hit ctrl d to duplicate it bring them up and this is going to be a yellow color so i'm going to just make them yellow just make a really nice kind of a yellow color forgot to copy the color code hit ctrl c to copy it paste it make it a bit darker and there we have it we can just rotate it by hitting r to bring down the rotation properties and set this to 80 and we can also actually play, play around with the turbulence field so you can just set the evolution to maybe let's say 50 or um, let's say 150 and this to 150 as well and this to 150 as well or maybe 100 so give a little bit of randomness as you can see looks really nice you can also play around with the stroke so if i just select these two circles and hit u so we can see the stroke keyframes and we can just go right over here change the stroke width to let's say maybe if i just hit u u to see the stroke there we have it and maybe i'll just set this to around 20. set this to 20 as well and there we go maybe this one to 20 as well so i just set this to 20 and there we go we get a really nice and different kind of look see then we can just basically go ahead and select all the layers I right click pre comp it call this anything that you want i'm just going to leave it as a one 
hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, hit R to bring down the rotation properties and I'm going to rotate them at 180 degrees. So now we have some really nice looking liquid animation and you know you can go ahead and keep adding more circles with more details you know you can do some really crazy stuff with this thing you can also add maybe rough edges so let's see if we just add roughness to this thing so let's see make it look more organic we said the scales to 90 something like that yep that is looking pretty good i'm just gonna hit ctrl c ctrl v to paste it make it look really really nice you can see it looks pretty cool but i think i liked it without this so you can you know it's your choice you can go with rough and edges or just leave it it's on you and in the center then you can add a logo animation for now let's i'm just gonna add a circle so this zero make it white and let's say this is our logo change the part to let's say 250 by 250 and then we can add a logo animation so we just need to animate anim animate the size of the logo so you can just hit s to bring down the scale properties for the very beginning set this to zero at the very end maybe somewhere on there with 10 frames one second 10 frames and set this to zero hit f9 to ease them now we have something like that really cool really simple really easy to create so yep i hope that's a wrap for today i hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next video till then take care and thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to stay raw stay creative